So you want to know how to tame a Noglin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly where to locate these Noglin and the best and easiest way to tame them. It's taken me quite a while to figure this all out, so a like would be greatly appreciated. But I do hope you all enjoy today's video. And if you do find it useful, make sure to slap that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I would greatly appreciate the support that being said let's get into this now the first thing that we need to do is to actually get to the location where these bad boys spawn now many of you are going to be spawning on the eden side here which is one of the easy well the easy spawn zone uh, but we're gonna need to get to the other side the rockwell zone and to do that, you're going to need to come to kind of where we are on the map. A flyer is going to make this a bit easier. You can do this without a flyer as well. Uh, but you can see there's these little bridges that go across. Now, thankfully, the Noglins do have a chance of spawning right at the other side of this bridge. Um, so maybe if you get lucky, you might find some there. But I'll show a couple different spawn locations for them. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is get down to where the entrance of this bridge is. Now, before we actually go to the location, I feel like if you guys are following this along and not looking ahead in the video, I should probably cover <laughs> what you need before we actually head out there. You're going to need some stone dinosaur gateways, some gates. Uh, I highly recommend having a harpoon gun or a harpoon launcher, whatever you want to call it. And then some of the new nets. These are going to come in extremely handy and make your life quite a bit easier. You can do it without them, but uh, I highly recommend bringing them. I also recommend bringing um, a good amount of tames because we do have to sacrifice tames to the Noglin uh, for this to work. Now, your tames might not die, but depending on how strong they are, they might end up killing each other. So that's something to keep in mind. You can use Deodons to keep their health up or really whatever creature you want i decided to use thylas basically the only rule for the creatures is they need to be able to be brain controlled so they can't be like dodos because they're too small uh you can even use like turtles you can use stegos or anything like that and if you don't know how to Did get the cryo cores you can get them in here by purchasing them uh, so that's a possibility for that, uh, or you can soon. bring them to the area where you're going to be taming the Noglin, whichever you really you want to do. But as long as you bring gates, a launcher, a net, and uh, some tames, we should be able to do this relatively quickly. So the path through to this bridge is actually down at the bottom of this area here. So the bridge parts themselves are pretty easy to get to. They're just on the edges here below where the land ends. And you can find them pretty much tucked in right through here. All we gotta do is fly through. This is actually really, really cool. Just flying through here. I love the design of this map. It's just... I, I, I really like it. I don't know how other people feel about it. Now this part here looks a little sketchy, just flying out into open space. We should be able to just cross right through it. And now we are officially on the Rockwell side. Now for the fun part, actually locating one of the Noglins. Now thankfully the spawn area is pretty simple. They're going to spawn right along the central corridor along the latitude 50 line. So basically right along this river here on the edges. So between like 42 and 54 uh, latitude just along this line. You can fly along here and just keep an eye out for the Noglins. Now unfortunately they are very, very small and very quick as well. And you've got all of these deadly plants these people eaters, they're 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 like fly catchers, but way, way worse. So that's something that you're gonna need to keep an eye out along this river. They will snatch you off your mounts and eat you. So just keep that in mind. But they spawn all along this area. They are a relatively rare spawn though, so like maybe like between five and ten spawned at any single time. So you just kinda gotta walk through here and Hope for the best, but I do have one location that they seem to spawn in the most, and that's where we're headed to right now. So this is the area that I have found them most often. I think it's because it's this little secluded island, and there's not a lot of 
stuff around to really screw up your eyeline when looking for the Noglins. Uh, the downside is there are uh, Titan Boa here, spiders, there's plants. There's pretty much everything you wouldn't want to have to deal with. Uh, we've also got Capros, so bring... Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> See, now this is where things get interesting. We got the Capro over there. What we need to do is we need to get this to an area where we can start actually taming this. We've got all sorts of stuff going on here. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe... You have a couple choices. You can clear out the dinos in the area, which is the safer option. But you might cause the Noglin to run away to the middle of nowhere. Uh, but I definitely want to take care of this, um, this bro right here. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it a Sarko, because it is definitely not a Sarko. Spinosaurus, there we go. Sweet baby Jesus. But I did bring some stuff with us here. And uh, you don't have a saddle on you, but I do have one. The Capros right now, I think, are my main concern. And I've got one. I don't want to get too close to the Noglin, because I don't want to spook it away. Uh, but once I finish getting this area cleared out, we can move on to the next part, which is going to be immobilizing it and then building a trap. Because trapping things in this game is often the best way to get anything done. Come here, you stupid Spino. You're going down. Uh, note to self, when going to tame Noglins, don't leave one of your <laughs> mounts lying around. Although this does work now that I think about it. Um, so the Noglin attacked Arth or latched onto our Thyla, which is going to actually start draining its health. Now I can talk about this a little bit, actually. There we go. So what the Noglin will do is it'll latch on and then gain about 20% taming effectiveness. Uh, and then it'll hop off and then go to the next mount. <laughs> so this is this is the disaster way. If you don't want to use a trap, you could do this. Uh, my plan, however, was to not do it this way. There we go. So it's still Noglin controlled. Uh, the plan is to actually um, get the Noglin trapped in this and then build a trap around the Noglin. Uh, but at least I guess I can show you the way the mistakes are made. I've never actually... There we go. All right, Noglin, where are you going? All right, we've got the Noglin trapped. Now we just got to kill that Titan Boa. Now, I definitely recommend putting everything on passive as well. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So the Noglin is trapped. And what we want to do now is actually build a trap around the Noglin to keep it in one spot and then give it tames to be able to... Uh, to control and gain taming effectiveness so let's put this out here real quick uh the larger the area the more tames you'll be able to put inside um but not fully necessary either and there we go we've got the noglin attached to the skull of the turtle and the turtle's gonna just continue to attack as long as it's controlled so there's a small chance you might lose some of your tames doing this depending on what creature the Noglin decides to attack because it's also going to be draining the health of the creature it controls. And now it's just going to hop to and from each tame that is inside of this pen until it fully tames up. So if we get about 20% per tame, we should only need five. You can use six just to be safe, but we should be good. And it doesn't look like any of our turtles are really going to die. So I think uh, everything's looking pretty good. So we can see here right now that the Noglin is at 52%. So we're looking pretty good so far. 60%. Uh, so it's getting... A, it looks like it got a little bit more than 20%. No, it's, it's stuck at 60% now. So yeah, we should be good. It's going to switch to the next one. That'll take it up to 80. Then I'll switch to the last one and we should get the 100% taming. Now, one thing to keep note, it seems like if your pen is too small, uh, when the Noglin is trying to transfer to another creature, there's a chance it can get stuck, which might make it pause its whole taming process. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're good. So yeah, make sure you make your pen large enough for things to be able to move around, and it's going to work quite a bit better. So let's see here. Where are we at now? We're at 79, 80%. So we got one more transfer and we'll be good to go. It's interesting. It seems like these Noglins sometimes don't work very well. It's trying to attach right now, but it's 
duck. So let's see if we can move it out of the way. I think what it's trying to do is teleport to the one behind it. Yep, there we go. So just keep that in mind. They're a little wonky. You might have to move things around. That's why turtles are really good, because you really don't stand a chance of dying to turtles. And uh, I definitely like this a lot better that than potentially using Thylas. There we go. Arms length, but you shouldn't let it get near your head. Frank. I think it might be an ideal for. Like a vampire, but for free will. Oof, creepy little noggin goblin. Wait. <laughs> You could call it a Noglin. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, Noglins are pretty fantastic. So you can actually launch them from your shoulder to control things. Or if you double tap F, you'll launch them out. And then you can just engage Brain Hunt and do it yourself. So you can sneak into bases. They're pretty awesome. Unfortunately, whatever they attach to as far as a wild creature goes, it's going to kill it when you detach it. Uh, that will not happen with Tames and other people. But it does happen with wild creatures, so you can't use it to tame like I had hoped you could. Uh, but regardless, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you tame a Noglin. Also, if you hit F while controlling it, you can disengage the brain hunt, and uh, and then you'll be able to go back and pick it up. So it's a pretty cool creature. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't go near the big plants, and I'll see you all in the next one.